Agatha Prendergast of His Majesty's Province of Massachusetts, on this day you have been arraigned for the horrible crime of witchcraft, witnessed by those whose testimonies have been heard. You have, by this court, been found guilty. No! And it is passed on you according to your grievous crimes, execution! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Do you have anything to say for yourself? I was only playing. I, with fire! You were speaking with the dead! Wait! I'll not no. risk damnation on these good people! No, no you can't you do this! You are to be taken I didn't to the place of execution, where you will be hanged by the neck <gasps> until you be Stop. dead! Leave me alone, or I'll make you sorry! I'll make all of you sorry! She was just a little kid. She was no different than me. Keep away from me! You must stop the curse. What? You don't want to kill me? You can speak to the dead. To us. To her, we need you to read from the book to send us all back to the grave. But it didn't work. It's a fairy tale. Just a bedtime story. That's it, isn't it? A bedtime story to keep a little girl asleep for another year. And now you need my help because I'm the only one who can read it to her? Here's your book! Try reading it yourself. Why did you do it? We were scared. Of what? Of her. I believed we were doing what was right. I was wrong. Now this is our punishment. We thought we knew our way in life, but in death, we are lost. Please, help us. Every year, someone reads the story at our grave. Before me, it was Mr. Prendergast, and before him, there were others. The curse doesn't ever go away. Nothing gets better. It's not enough. What will you do? Something nobody ever did before. I've got to go talk to her. <laughs> 